Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yes. <sighs> you you got to figure. Somebody is going to make big money selling T-shirts with the slogan, I survived 2020. Now, of course, that's assuming we do survive, right? <sighs> what can I say? Well, you may be following the, uh, the tabloids, the uh, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard situation. Yeah. Now, here, who do you think is telling the truth? Uh, Johnny or Amber? Now, me, I'm backing Johnny, without a doubt. I mean, after all, this guy has always been a level-headed, no-nonsense, well-balanced guy. Yeah, gotta, gotta go with, with what the guy says, with, without hesitation. Oh, uh, and Hollywood has replaced Tom Bergeron already. Yeah, Tyra Banks, former host of America's Next Top Model. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, life goes on in Hollywood. We're going in a new creative direction. Yeah, okay, you got it. <sighs> That's a job, you know, dancing with the stars, air quotes around stars. Yeah, Bergeron handled it pretty well, considering... He's dealing with a whole bunch of has-beens with huge egos that, uh, you know, don't really uh, fit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Today, it is a uh, Thursday already. It's the 16th day of Hulai. Yeah. Today is World Snake Day. I wonder if they celebrate Snake Day in Ireland. I d j just wondering, yeah, and I also wonder, snakes, you know, they probably think garden hoses are statues of famous snakes, right? Yeah, I, I would say. Snakes are okay. I don't really have a problem with snakes. I avoid them. I let them go their way. I go mine. My mother was deathly afraid of snakes. She could not even look at a picture of a snake. Now, this is a woman who raised four boys who were very active. And I can remember coming home one day with uh, three or four garter snakes in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, and I put, uh, put those pants in the laundry. My mother found the pants, and they still had the garter snakes in the pocket. <sighs> I am still grounded to this day. Yeah. Uh, Mom was not amused. It was a mistake, an honest mistake on my part, okay? Yeah, didn't mean it. Oh, by the way, today is also guinea pig day. And did you know if you pick up a guinea pig by its tail, its eyes will fall out? Yeah, you can Google that, check on it, and you'll see. Birthdays today. Singer William Bell is 81. Actor, singer, Reuben Blades, or as I prefer, Reuben Blattis, is 72. Drummer Stuart Copeland of The Police, 68. Actress Faye Grant is 63. Uh, Lord of the Dance, Michael Flatley, is 62. Flatley, that, that's what his feet are, Flatley. Actress Phoebe Cates, 57. Actor Paul Hip, 57. Actor Daryl Chill Mitchell, 55. Actor Jonathan Adams is 53. Will Ferrell is 53. Actress Rain Pryor, 51. Actor Corey Feldman, 49. Has he done anything lately? Hmm. Actress Jama Mays is 41. Actress Annalyn McCord, 33. Actor Mark Indelicato is 26. Okay. Uh, they would be our big shot birthdays, local birthdays just ahead. We are strong and we'll get through this together. But these are stressful times. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, and know that you are not alone. Visit wearebroadcasters.com slash hope. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. We're celebrating our KXO birthdays. 
Happy birthday, Brianne Williams, Carmen Gallegos, Cynthia Trujillo, Don Mitchell, Eric Lysea, Carmen Villarreal, Javier Lopez, Sharon Smith, Zach Perez, and Carlos Rendon. Happy birthday from KXO. And many happy returns of the same. Coming up, we will celebrate a Thursday with a look at World in California news. We've got a look at uh, lots of local news. We'll tell you about what's going on around the neighborhood. And uh, we'll uh, discuss the weather in depth. Take a look at sports and uh, check out uh, the situation on Wall Street. Yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, rumors in Hollywood. The new season of America's Got Talent will be delayed. Have you ever seen the show? What I hate most about the show are the contestants with the sappy hard luck stories. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Like the guy who had five deadly diseases. His house burned down. He was blinded by a lightning strike. He accidentally chopped off both legs with a chainsaw. And yet, he somehow made it to an audition. Yeah, I did. You know, I want to win this for my mom. She's always been there for me. Yeah, I'm going to spend the money on mom. I'm going to buy her a new chopper. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got news. A look at World in California news headlines right now. Brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales, for service, call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News Update. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp goes rogue and bars local officials from mandating face masks during the pandemic. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey says everyone over the age of six has to wear them in public. You shouldn't have to be ordered to do what is in your own best interest. Tourists in Charleston, South Carolina are flouting the rules. CBS is Mark Strassman. I talked to one clerk uh, here on King Street in an upper end clothing store. She had to tell a customer that he had to put on a mask or leave the store. He got irate, stormed out, threatening to sue the store. She saw the moment for what it probably was an idle threat. More schools are going with online classes for fall, including the Prince George's County District in Maryland. Board of Ed member Ed Burroughs. We know that our young people go home to their parents and grandparents who have online health conditions and that so many of our individuals are asymptomatic. CBS News Update. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. The state continuing to set records for single-day reporting of new COVID-19 cases. L.A. County, the hardest hit. We are in an alarming and dangerous phase in this pandemic here in L.A. County. And we're in this place along with 29 other counties across the state. Public Health Director Dr. Barbara Ferrer, State School Superintendent Tony Thurman says districts should take careful steps in determining whether to bring students back to campus this fall. Steps that I would say require an abundance of caution um, to think through how uh, reopening might take place and to prepare some contingency plans if conditions Persist. You could get fined if you don't wear a mask in Napa County. The Board of Supervisors there are approving an urgency ordinance this week, authorizing citations ranging from $25 to $500 for people and $200 to a maximum of $5,000 for businesses. Upper 70s today in L.A., low 80s in San Jose, 110 today in El Centro. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For all your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, call Lock today. For uh, air conditioning uh, service, repairs, replacement, it's Lock Air Conditioning. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. This is Derek's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. After the third time jump-starting my car, I finally realized my battery was dying. So I stopped by O'Reilly to have it checked. They tested it right there in the parking lot. It was bad, real bad. But they helped me find the right battery for my car 
and even installed it for free. Now my car starts like new. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Introducing Peacock, the new free streaming service from NBC Universal. Free timeless hits, free award-winning flicks. Oh, um, oh. Um. Free SBU, free SNL. Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Free Below Deck, free Parks and Rec. Treat yourself. It's the best of streaming, the best of TV, and best of all, it's free. All right! And that's why you can't not watch. Peacock. Stream now at PeacockTV.com. These titles was E.T. and Do the Right Thing streaming now. Content availability may vary over time. It's page one of the local news. Page one is service of Quick Lane Tyron Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, ready to serve. Well, information provided by the Imperial County Public Health Department yesterday morning shows seven more COVID-19 deaths in the valley. And the numbers went from 141 on Tuesday to 148 on Wednesday. An additional 26 individuals received positive test results in the 24-hour period. The number of active cases of the coronavirus dropped from 962 on Tuesday to 927 on Wednesday. There was an increase of COVID patients in ICU beds going from 7 to 10. And the number of individuals on ventilators also increased by 6. Well, the uh, public health officer order was released recently. George Gale has the story. It was released recently. The updated order was designed to help bring the coronavirus under control. Imperial County leads the estate in per capita deaths as a result of COVID-19. There is a problem, however. How do you get people, the public, to abide by the health officer orders? Public health officer Stephen Monday says the orders are requirements, not suggestions. As it stands right now, anyone violating any of the orders is warned and officers strongly suggest the violators comply with the order. Problem is, what if they don't? The uh, County Board of Supervisors said Tuesday there is a need to create enforcement tools since the orders are designed to bring the virus under control. District 1 Supervisor Jesus Eduardo Escobar brought up the issue and most of the board agreed it was something that they had to deal with. Some areas in the county in the country are issuing fines for violators. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. KXO News Time is 743. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers for your service needs. Whether it's a lube job, oil and filter change, brake job, battery or wheel balance and alignment, Quick Lane can handle it. And Quick Lane services all makes and all models. Oh, and by the way, you never need an appointment. Tires, all the best brands at the best price guaranteed. See your Quick Lane Service Advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. Well, El Centro Police responded to a report of a large gathering at a city park. The uh, initial report was that an estimated 30 people were at the park on Lotus and Wensley Avenue at about 6.45 p.m. Tuesday. When officers arrived, they found a soccer match just breaking up. Officers advised the group about the prohibition of gatherings and also the uh, mandatory use of facial coverings. Well, it started as a routine traffic stop Tuesday afternoon. It ended up as a high-speed chase. An El Central police officer attempted to make the traffic stop at about 12.23 Tuesday afternoon. The driver of the vehicle failed to yield and sped away. The pursuit went from the area of Adams and Imperial in El Centro with speeds up to 75 miles an hour. The uh, driver neglected to stop at several red traffic lights on city streets, then went northbound on Dogwood, eastbound on Villa Road, onto a dirt road, southbound on Cooley Road, Eastbound on Evan Hughes Highway, past Bowker Road at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. And the vehicle then went northbound on Highway 115, eastbound on Norris Road, then northbound on a dirt road near the Highline Canal before officers deployed a pit maneuver and ended the chase. The driver was detained and arrested on a variety of charges involving the traffic 
as well as drug violations and an outstanding warrant. That's it for page one of the local news. Page one, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Baja Farms in Hopeville has been farming for many years and takes pride in what they have accomplished with their operation. It has enabled them to support their communities and supporting youth of the Imperial Valley from FFA to 4-H, youth sports and academics. Baja Farms hopes to continue this for many years and has a special message for you from your friends at Baja Farms. Freedom is something money can't buy and most honorable of all are the ones who defend it. So let's keep saluting them. God bless America. Page two of the local news and a look at the weather brought to you this morning by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, Medicare supplemental coverage, David H. West Insurance Services. Well, the city of El Centro announces a microenterprise loan program. George Gale has more. The city of El Centro has established the program. If your business has suffered due to COVID-19, contact the city of El Centro. City says a micro enterprise loan program has been established to look to help local businesses cope with the difficulties caused by the pandemic. Program is made available by the Department of Housing and Urban Development with CARES Act funding provided through the Community Development Block Grant Program. City anticipates being able to loan up to $10,000 to 20 micro businesses in the city of El Centro. If loan requirements are met, repayment of loans can be forgiven. For program guidelines and full application, go to the City of El Centro website and click the link COVID-19 Resources. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. A magnitude 3.0 earthquake was reported uh, yesterday afternoon. The U.S. Geological Survey said the epicenter was about uh, 19 miles uh, south of uh, Salton City and 28 miles west of Raleigh. The Templar was reported at about 3.46 p.m. No reports of injuries or damage. We're looking for local heroes. Here's George. If you know of any, contact the American Red Cross. American Red Cross needs the public's help to find the local heroes in San Diego and Imperial Counties. If you know of an ordinary person with extraordinary courage, Red Cross is asking that you nominate them for the 18th Annual Real Heroes Awards. Nomination deadline has been extended until July 22nd. In light of the current pandemic, this year's event will be held virtually. Honorees will be celebrated across eight categories, including animal welfare, community partner, fire and rescue, gift of life, Good Samaritan, law enforcement, military, and youth Good Samaritan. Nomination forms are available at redcross.org slash San Diego slash Real Heroes. Forms can be submitted via email at events.sandiegoca at redcross.org. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Well, and uh, a heads up, Bowker Road between Evan Hughes Highway and uh, about 1.2 miles north of Ross Road will be closed beginning July 20th through August 7th for canal undergrounding. Again, that's Bowker between Evan Hughes and Ross Road. KXO News Time is 7.48. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family. As 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. The National Weather Service says above normal temperatures are forecast at least through the weekend in the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. Look for highs around 110 degrees. A likely increase in moisture by the middle of next week will spread the threat of thunderstorms westward into the Yuma and Imperial Valleys. 109 the high yesterday, 77 the low. Sunny today with a high near 109. Light wind becoming southeast about 5 miles an hour this afternoon. 
Clear tonight with a low around 80. South-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming light and variable after midnight. Friday will be sunny with a high near 108. East-southeast wind about 5 miles an hour. Sunny and hot on Saturday with a high near 111. Light winds. And Sunday... Sunny and hot with a high near 112. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. We have 85 degrees downtown, 35% relative humidity. The wind is calm. That's it for page 2 of the local news, a service of David H. West Insurance Services. See David or see Jose. For health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage, David H. West insurance services. Today's indoor forecast calls for 78 degrees and a strong chance of comfort and saving money. That's the word from your Imperial Irrigation District, who encourages you to set your air conditioning thermostat to 78 degrees or higher to help you save money on your electric bill during the summer heat. You can also use floor or ceiling fans to create more indoor comfort. Just remember that fans cool people, so turn them off when you leave a room. For more energy saving ideas, check out iid.com slash summer savings. And it's time to take a look at sports. What's going on? <sighs> well, <laughs> lots of things. Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans have reached an agreement on a four-year deal worth about $50 million. That's $25.5 million guaranteed. The Titans announced the deal yesterday. They have now reached new deals with Henry and quarterback Ryan Tannehill in the offseason. And Dak got no love in Dallas. Yeah, the uh, Cowboys and Dak Prescott have not reached an agreement. The franchise tag uh, is now uh, firmly emplaced around Dak Prescott. Hey, but don't feel bad. Yeah, he'll play out uh, the $31.4 million franchise tag for the 2020 season and then go through it all over again next year uh, trying to uh, negotiate some sort of a deal. <laughs> Good luck. Ah, what else is going on? Well... Hotel security went to Jimmy Butler's room at the Disney Hotel after complaints of loud basketball dribbling. <laughs> yeah, what well, Jimmy Butler's, he's a hard worker. Yeah, usually the first player to arrive at practice. Now, under quarantine, yeah, he's uh, spending time in the Orlando bubble dribbling. Okie dokie, go for it. Hello, this is Ray Castillo, Supervisor of District 5. I'm with Hopeville Mayor Jim Predmore. We're counting on you because when you complete your 2020 census, you're helping your community get better roads. Better schools, more emergency services, more community programs. You're helping to improve your quality of life and that of those around you. Complete your census today, online, by phone, or by mail. Make sure to count everyone in your home, including children. We're counting on you to make Imperial Valley count. Well, Kenyon Drake was looking for a contract extension before the uh, Wednesday uh, deadline. Didn't happen. The uh, Cardinals running back says, okay, I'll live with that. Yeah, he, he's going to make $8.4 million under the transition tag this year. Hey, Kenyon, not bad. Meanwhile, Tiger Woods... He's big, yeah, on the betting block anyway. Uh, Woods is, uh, well, he's a long shot at the Memorial Tournament, but he is attracting heavy betting interest. Okay, why not? And meanwhile, speaking of the PGA, Commissioner Jay Monahan says he's hopeful of having fans later this year. The uh, final tournaments of the 2019-2020 season have all announced that there, were, there won't be any spectators in attendance because of the coronavirus pandemic. The uh, Safeway Open, the first tour event of the 2021 season, announced this week that its September 10th through 13th tournament will be played with no spectators in Napa. Well, looking later in New York at the U.S. Open, it might happen.
you're with spectators. Uh, that's it for Sports Time. Stick around. We've got a look at financial news coming up. It's Christmas in July at Rogers and Rogers Nissan and Santa has a special gift for you. Massive savings on Nissan's most popular models. Centra's $119 a month. Rogue's $139 a month. Let's test drive a new Nissan and get a $25 Walmart gift card. Ho, ho, hurry down to Rogers and Rogers Nissan. Shop online at RogersandRogersNissan.com. 2020 Nissan Centra S. Vinever LY24189. Lease for $119.55 per month plus tax. $20,420 selling price. 2020 Nissan Rogue S. Vinever LP542. 052. Lease for $139.09 per month plus tax. $26,395 selling price. Test drivers must have available. Like Walter Flies Lab for complete detail for N731-2020. It's financial news and a brief look at weather brought to you by Imperial Valley's Roto Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. Initial jobless claims fell slightly in the second week of July to a post-pandemic low of 1.3 million, but the grudgingly small decline points to ongoing stress in the economy as the U.S. struggles to cope with the latest coronavirus outbreak. New applications for unemployment benefits, a rough gauge of layoffs, fell by 10,000 to 1.3 million. The figures are seasonally adjusted. So uh, what's going on on Wall Street? Well, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, kind of a mixed bag early right now, off about six and a half points at 26,863. The S&P 500 down 14 and a half at 3,212. The NASDAQ is at 10,410, that's off 139 points. Gold down $4.50 an ounce, oil, is off 26 cents a barrel. And uh, yeah, that, that, don't look for the price to drop at the pump. Meanwhile, Johnson & Johnson stock has inched up after profit and sales beat expectations. And uh, they also raised their outlook. Morgan Stanley stock gains after big profit beat amid strength in trading and investment banking. Moderna's stock has extended uh, its rally. Moderna is the uh, pharmaceutical company that uh, is uh, ready for phase one clinical trials of its COVID-19 vaccine, a later stage trial involving 30,000 patients is key. The uh, stock closed, uh, closed at $75 uh, on Tuesday, its second highest in the decade that the company has been in business. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. It will be sunny today with a high near 109, light winds. Clear tonight with a low around 80, south-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, and then diminishing after midnight. Friday, sunny with a high near 108, east-southeast winds about 5 miles an hour. And we have 85 degrees downtown El Centro with that 35% our relative humidity. The wind, well, the wind is calm right now. And uh, what about your border weights? Well, it's 30 minutes downtown, no waiting sentry, no waiting pedestrian. 15 minutes at the East Port, no waiting sentry. 30 minutes at the Ready Lane, 30 minutes at the Port of Andrade. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Roto-Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. When trains don't work... They do. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NABN. 
and this station. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News is brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Kathan. In the high-stakes push to get a COVID-19 vaccine, there are new accusations that Moscow is trying to steal key data from researchers. CBS's Jim Crisula. The U.S., Britain, and Canada have accused Russia of trying to steal information from researchers searching for a coronavirus vaccine. The three nations alleged a hacking group that's part of the Russian intelligence service has attacked academic and pharmaceutical research institutions working on COVID-19 vaccine development. 41 states reporting a rise in coronavirus cases. CBS's David Begno has the latest from Florida, where a hospital crisis is taking shape. Take Miami-Dade County, for example, the hottest of hot spots here in South Florida, the most populated county in the state. They have reached their traditional ICU capacity. So what are they doing now? They're setting up overflow beds, getting them ready. But the concern is, even the extra beds that they're setting up, are not going to be enough moving forward. In a bid to weather the pandemic, JetBlue and American Airlines have just struck a deal to share routes and loyalty benefits. The government says 1.3 million people filed claims for jobless benefits last week. Bankrate.com economist Mark Hamrick. They did decline, but just barely. They were down 10,000 from the previous week's revised level, down to 1.3 million. And if one does not make seasonal adjustments to these new unemployment claims, they actually rose, meaning that we lost ground. One or both of the major presidential campaigns may have a lot of information about you, even though you've never reached out to them. CBS's Peter King. Both the Trump and Biden apps will ask for permission to access your contact list. If you click OK, they get it all. CBS News analysis of the Trump app shows that it asks for much more than that. Access to Bluetooth and location data, your phone's unique ID signature, information about your other apps and accounts, and even your files in video. From Barack Obama to Bill Gates, big names with millions of followers on Twitter appeared to be sending messages yesterday hawking Bitcoin. CBS's Anna Werner says it was a major hack that is now under the microscope. Twitter's still investigating this hack. The big question, of course, who was the hacker? Nobody knows that right now. But the company says it had locked most compromised accounts and would reopen them when it was safe to do so. Overnight, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled the second federal execution this week could go forward in Indiana. And this morning, the 68-year-old murder convict was put to death. Lawyers tried to argue he has dementia and should have been spared. Wall Street Dow is down 68 points. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open a new savings account with a rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One NA, member FDIC. Get to Kohl's and take an extra 25% off Adidas for the entire family. Plus, with an extra 15% off, get up to 50% off the big one bedding. And save on Nike athletic shoes for kids. Plus, get Kohl's cash. Plus, limited contact store drive up. Right now at Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Offers valid July 17th through July 26th. 15% offer with promo code Big Savings. 25% off Adidas. Offers and coupons do not apply. Select styles. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. At CBS News, our mission is to provide you with the facts you need to stay safe and informed. CBS This Morning and the CBS Evening News continue to deliver the latest news and developments on the COVID-19 outbreak. You can watch our free streaming service, CBSN, 24-7 at our website or on your phone using the CBS News app. Right now, we know you have a lot of questions and are looking for answers. And we want you to know CBS News is here to help you make sense of it all. A government watchdog says the head of Medicaid and Medicare programs failed to properly manage $6 million in outreach and communications contracts. The administrator says the findings were based on assumptions and incomplete analysis. There may be a new calling for the world's most famous COVID-19 patient. He's played everyone from a mentally challenged man with a big heart in Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. To a kid in a man's body in big. Now Tom Hanks may become the PA announcer for the Oakland A's. The San Francisco Chronicle says the team is exploring the possibility. After all, Hanks sold peanuts and soda in the stands at the Coliseum in the 1970s. 
Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Out and about today, two spacewalking astronauts swapping batteries outside the space station. Steve Kathan. CBS News. The food insecurity rate for Imperial Valley is estimated at 17% for all residents. Tragically, it soars to 33% for our children. Imagine one of every three children are challenged by hunger. The Imperial Valley Food Bank is striving to end hunger in the valley. When kids have nutritious food to eat, they learn more in school, are sick less often, crime declines, and the cycle of poverty can end. This is Jean Oswald asking you to support the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fun, uh, the... Uh... CBS News brought to you this morning by Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. They need your help. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Present to you with this year's Choice YouTuber Award. Errol Buckley. Prepare to get rocked. <laughs> that was unbelievable. <laughs> AM 1230 KXO. 12.30 